There we go. Good morning, YouTube family and friends. Coming to you from the great state of Texas on December the 7th, 2020, in the morning before I get ready to jump on an airplane to go to the Commonwealth of Virginia and spend a week with my parents. There's a net flying around my face. Anyway, a uh, big thank you. This is just going to be a very short video so that I get something up this week. Since I'm going to be traveling, I may be filming a lot, but I don't know that I will actually post anything until I return home because I'm not taking all of my equipment with me. Bare minimum with this environment. Thank you very much for the response over the last six days since I started this channel. I am very pleased to say that I already have about 20 subscribers and over a hundred views, which is breathtaking that <laughs> that many people are interested in what I have to say. So thank you very much. I also want to go into a few, is that glare on my nose or is it on the screen? <laughs> I hope it's on the screen, but, uh, anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the response. I am overwhelmed and looking forward to much greater things in the near term as I actually get back from the trip and have some time to uh, concentrate on better content, longer videos, and more information that is of value to you. Let me start out with that. I imagine the next few weeks are going to, oh, not the next few weeks, the next few days when I'm traveling, my diet is not going to be exactly what I would like it to be. But I also don't want to be a pain in the patoot to my parents. So I will basically eat what's available and then correct it when I get back. In my last video, I asked a question. Would you rather be healthy? Would you rather be well? Or would you rather be fit? And as you can see, I have spent a lot of time on fitness in my life. And you can tell it really didn't work that good because... Looking at me, you wouldn't see a fit person in most definitions of what fit is. I keep adjusting to try to get that glare off the tip of my nose, but it may just be something we have to live with. It's probably coming from that same clock I tried to block with my head the other video. But anyway, in that last video, health won out by a long shot. Nobody mentioned fitness, even though every gym in the country has fit or fitness in its name. And so that begs the question, maybe you can comment on this uh, this week or this video. Um, should a name change be in the works? Something to include health or healthy. Maybe one thing I was thinking of was maybe healthy aging. So I could keep it broad enough to cover my diet or way of eating, as I like to call it, which I haven't even mentioned what it is. And I'll, I'll mention that now. I've been on the carnivore way of eating for approximately three months now with obviously some slips and falls and getting back on the horse. So this week is I'm planning on this trip, the airplane ride, even though I have some beef sausage snacks, I'm planning that by the time I get to Virginia, I will probably have blown my carb count for the day. And then uh, while I'm with my parents, I'm not going to overly worry about it. But carnivore, the premise of carnivore is, is, is that it is the um, historic uh, human diet. There's another word for that, but I can't remember it at the moment. The Not the original human diet. But I, let's just say preferred human diet as to what our ancestors would have eaten as hunter gatherers. They didn't have vegetables and they only had fruit in season. So it's basically an animal based diet. I mentioned that in the past animal based, not meat based, animal based, but I prefer meat. <laughs> I've never been a fan of vegetables. So finding a way of eating that doesn't require or encourage you to eat vegetables is ideal for me. I've always had my doubt about fruits too. And 
listening to some of the doctors I listen to on channels like Low Carb Down Under, I see that as long as fruit is in season and in its natural habitat, we as humans used to eat it. Of course, with genetically modified everything these days and hothouses and shipping all around the world, you very rarely get fruit or vegetables for that matter that are native um uh what's that they use heirloom quality to where it it would have been how our ancestors would have eaten so if you go to the grocery store you're not really getting the ideal human diet so i have cut out and somebody asked me in one of the comments says how did i cut out sugar and I am going to make a whole video about that. And uh, the, the quick answer is that you increase your fat intake, preferably saturated fats. And the long answer is fat helps to satiate you so you're not hungry, so your cravings go down. And as you get on the carnivore and carnivore way of eating, your body goes into ketosis, so you start burning your fuel from within, i.e. your stored body fat. And another doctor, and this will probably be a, a title of a video one time, said that uh, sugar makes you fat, carbohydrates make you hungry, and polyunsaturated fats, i.e. vegetables slash seed oils, make you sick. I have been experimenting with that, and the results are, are drastic. Cutting out sugar and... Well, I shouldn't keep saying cutting out sugar. I try to keep my carb slash sugar intake between 30 and 100 grams a day. And the average American is well over 300 grams a day. So the way of eating I'm doing is technically called a low carb, high fat diet. And Dr. Mabry tells me I should aim for 70% fat in my diet which is very difficult to get to. But in the future, I will start showing you, or at least reading off my fitness pal, um, daily eating, and tell you what my macros ended up at. Sometimes they're 60% fat. Sometimes I get all the way up to 73% fat. But 80% fat is not too much. Because the lie that fat makes you fat is just that. It's a lie. So... In the meanwhile, while I'm probably not going to be posting for the next seven days, go to the Low Carb Down Under site if you're interested in learning some of the stuff I've learned before I have a chance to tell you about it. And look up a video called The Big Fat Food Lie, or The Big Fat Lie. And it's a, a lady named Nina, N-I-N-A, and I'll just say her last name because I'll probably massacre it. I could never spell it. Tykolov, who was a journalist, what do they call a investigative journalist who decided to investigate food and the food pyramid specifically, which the U.S. made and has exported all over the world. And she found out that a lot of the science isn't science and a lot of the Recommendations are not backed by science. So since the 1950s, the population of the world has gone from basically healthy to basically obese. So I will go into all that later because that's going to be the main thrust of this channel. But I don't have time this morning because I got to go get a shower, shave, and uh, get taken to the airport. But y'all have a great week. And if you get a, if you made it this far, please reach down to the bottom. You'll see, I think it's on that side, but it might be on that side. You'll see a little symbol of my photography company. And if you can click that button, it'll take you to the subscribe link. Once you subscribe, you may want to hit the notification button. That'll tell you every time I get a bright idea and post a video. And then if you'd be so kind to com comment down below, if you think, uh, Changing the title from CP59 Fit All About Wellness to CP59 Fit. <coughs> Excuse me, something to, something to do with healthy. 
if you think that's a good idea or not, I just wanted to bring it up before I changed it. So the few people that are on notifications will still know it's the same video, but I'll read the comments. I'll try to answer all of them as I have been doing. And I appreciate each and every one of you very much, whether you subscribe or not. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking, or even if you dislike, because really right now at this point in my career, everything in YouTube is about how that YouTube algorithm algorithms respond and they respond by you the viewer viewing for one viewing the whole thing for two subscribing liking and commenting so here's to safe travels y'all have a great week stay healthy be safe and wear a mask if you want to <laughs> or if you have to thank you goodbye